Well, guys, uh, I may do a full video in this just in case somebody asks. I'm planning on painting my calipers red. Uh, I don't want to remove the caliper from the card itself, but I'm planning to take the pads out. Uh, and that would be it, so I'm not to worry about that. I'm more worried about this uh, little uh, rubber tabs over here. Probably want to keep those uh, uh, black. And I'm probably gonna take some pictures to have these tabs as a reference. So when I put the new porch uh, sticker in, I bought them through eBay. I bought them, they come in different colors, yellow, black, I bought them in white. Uh, well, let's see how it goes. I found this little brush over here. This is more for plumbers and this is for cleaning the copper before soldering and stuff. But it has these two edges over here, one big, one small, and I found that it's pretty good for cleaning it around. I went to the uh, screws on the back side. Uh, these areas over here are, are pretty small. So for cleaning a little bit more, and then I will put some more water on it. Uh, this area over here, probably there's gonna be some dust in that area there. So make sure that you uh, scrub to those areas. Over here in the inside as well. So you probably can use any type of uh, brush. So I'm gonna go with uh, 400 for, this, for the sanding. I also have a 1500 over here. Uh, the caliper itself is rough on the outside. On this area over here is perfectly smooth. So I'm gonna go very low on this area. This area is rough, but I think it's, you know, that's the way it is. I would try to smooth it a little bit, but not too much. Uh, for painting, I'm covering this area over here. I decided by myself that I'm not gonna paint this little tube over here with the knot that is there. Uh, same on the back side. Everything else I want to paint. Uh, I think it's very important for you to know that on this area over here, you want to make sure that the spray goes in there. So it's really important that you put a tape. This is not a good word, but <laughs> put a tape around this area so that you make sure that this area is clear so that when you are spraying through it, it's, uh, it's easy, easily reachable uh, on that area over there. So I'm just gonna cover everything else. I just did the first pass on the caliper paint. Uh, it's pretty good. The paint is really nice. It covers everything really well. Uh, you should go very lightly on the first one just to make sure that it sticks to the caliper. Uh, I created also uh, 3D printed parts there because I didn't want the rubber to get painted. Uh, there's a rubber there with the cylinders for I the did, pads. Uh, the uh, can suggest two light coats every 10 minutes and then a medium coat uh, the third one as the last one. And I agree with some of the comments that you will see on some of the people who has done this before. It's not a good idea to, uh, you know, overdo this thing. So, because the question that we write now, right, is should I do another coat? The truth is that when I look at this, it looks fantastic. And, you know, there's some areas maybe in there that is not perfect, but, you know, if you try to do another coat, then you can damage the whole thing and you can see that the most important areas are really nice so I'm not gonna overdo that just because then you can mess the whole job right just because of that the little template that I did is use the center of these positions over here and then I made a line uh, exactly with a photo that I have of the caliper before with the uh, letters there so I know that the porch let us go from here to there and I got those letters from eBay uh, I gotta show you so the letters are in uh, I made sure that I press on those letters because you don't want to touch those letters after you peel that uh, clear tape out right so you have to go through each letter and make sure that you are pressing on it uh, just to make sure 
that you know they would be completely uh, attached to the surface getting ready to, uh, for the clear coat uh, after placing the letters in this is the one that I'm going to use I can say up to now that this uh, duplicolor paint is pretty awesome uh, the one on the caliper as well you can see that it's very thick and it is sticking in and it has such a nice look to it and the color red is fantastic uh, I just bought this one just to make sure that it has the rating for the 500 degree Fahrenheit that's exactly the rating that the paint uh, for the caliper has uh, that's why I got this one maybe you can use something else I would just make sure that the temperature is uh, at the same spec as the caliper uh, paint requirement just to go safe well the clear coat is dry now and uh, I wanted to point to something out I did that for this guys over here and for this over here you see this little little hump that it has on the top it's really nice if you do that because then you can just pull to the top right and if you can see for not taking out the caliper uh, most of the pieces that I want to keep with the color on them work pretty nicely just put that tape around have that little cap on the top and you can just push on top push to the top on them and uh, it works pretty well you know without taking the caliper that's not bad at all uh, I wanted to show you the inside so that you can see the finish there it looks really nice uh, thanks for these little plugs that I did on a 3d printer I'm gonna have these files uploaded into this video so you can download them and if you have a friend who has a 3d printer uh, you can you know make them and use, use them before painting they really help a lot uh, because it's really hard to cover that outline of the rubber with a uh, tape right so with this plug you just put them there and it's really nice there's four different sizes because of the holes in there they are different on the back and on the uh, front of the car and between them they are different as well so I made I think four of these things different sizes to fit each one of these uh, holes and outline of the outside well guys for not removing the caliper I think it looks fantastic uh, everything went pretty smooth just take your time cleaning it uh, but I think you know all the details that I wanted to keep there are there uh, and I think it came out pretty nice so this is a job if you are interested in doing you can do it uh, it's not really that difficult if you don't have to remove the caliper that's what I was looking for but you can see I think that you can do a pretty good job without removing it